When I start talking about these protocols, I'm now talking about protocols that we can use internally within mobile app development. Uh, I, I have, a, uh, I have uh, an Android and iOS dev on my team that um, I have currently active on a project. And we had to, we had to do a lot of low-level video frame manipulation for the, uh, a project we're working on. We just uh, migrated uh, the uh, server stack over to Red 5 uh, uh, Pro, which uh, is here. I'm glad to see Chris has brought his whole gang here to talk about Red 5 Pro. I think they're going to be uh, uh, an innovative leader in this space when it comes to um, WebRTC and RTSP. I mention that because in their mobile SDK, they're using RTSP in their mobile SDK. They're not the only one. A lot of mobile SDKs are using RTSP for transmission. Um, and again, this isn't something that you need in the browser when you're talking about mobile apps. Um, Android and other applications uh, are other, uh, you know, if you're on Android and you click an RTSP link on a web page, it will launch a native player, usually on that Android device that's outside of the browser. So there are different ways to play RTSP. But when it comes to my mentioning of it here, it's more to talk about it for both uh, a source uh, point, like a lot of security cameras still use RTSP. I do a lot of configurations for municipal governments that have security cameras everywhere. Uh, or not security cameras, traffic cams, park cams, maybe they are security cams, I don't know, but they, um, you know, they're supposed to, to be there for the public to sort of see like what traffic conditions are like. Um, those are like access cameras. Those are all RTSP transmissions into uh, an ingest like Wowza or Red 5. Um, and again, uh, RTSP has TCP and UDP options, and, and uh, of course, we're for, for the lowest latency, we're looking for that UDP option, right? So that we have fire and forget and not retries like you would with TCP. Um, and again, the drawbacks, there's no native browser support really for RTSP. Uh, firewall and port access, that's, that's also something that I, I didn't mention back with our uh, WebRTC, but as we start to get into UDP layers and port allocations, you know, if you thought Flash and RTMP in 1935 was a nightmare, welcome to a whole new world of port allocation and firewalls with WebRTC, right? I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be um, an interesting path to see just how, uh, I, I think we have come a long way with uh, corporate IT divisions and, and getting firewalls updated, but uh, we'll, we'll, it remains to be seen just how, uh, how we will address uh, port access issues uh, to it. Again, it's difficult to scale something like RTSP. You can't use uh, HTTP edges for that. Uh -huh.